Brother, I need you to wake up. I need you to realize that every decision you make today is gonna to affect your entire future. It's gonna affect your future wife, your future kids. It's going to affect everything. But if you don't decide to take the opportunities coming your way and actually capitalize on them and show the universe that you are capable of what you tell everyone you're capable of, then you're gonna squander the opportunities and then you're gonna let your future wife and your kids down. You gotta do it now. You gotta go to the gym and take care of your physique. You gotta eat better. You gotta treat your mind as a vessel. You gotta treat your body as a vessel. Stop sabotaging yourself with things that are lowering your vibration and they are taking you farther and farther away from achieving your goals. Focus on the now, but have in the back of your mind where you wanna be in life and what is gonna get affected if you don't make that sacrifice now. A lot of you guys don't even bother to take the time to think about it. But you'll soon realize that that time between where you are now and the future that I'm talking about with your wife and your kids, that's coming faster than you think. A lot faster than you think. And you're gonna ruin that because of now, because you wanna go party and you wanna go waste time, you wanna go eat McDonald's, you wanna go eat fucking fast food, you don't wanna go to the gym, you wanna stay lazy, you wanna watch Netflix on the couch, you wanna hang out with your loser friends who don't have any ambitions in life. You'd rather do that now and sacrifice your entire future? I know deep down that when you hear someone tell you that you don't wanna sacrifice it and you would wanna have it all. But that's the point of life, my friend. The point of life is that you can't have it all, right? You have free will to make decisions that are binary, yes or no. So you either say yes to your future life or you say no and that comes from the actions you take now. Your yes is the sacrifice that you make today and the days to come until eventually time catches up and then you see the fruits of your labor. Or you say no and you fucking waste every single moment you have now and you sacrifice your future. You keep doing the sabotaging behaviors that you're currently living every single day. Or you decide to put yourself first and you decide to put your future family first. You gotta take care of your parents, man. You gotta retire them. You gotta make money. You gotta build a strong physique. You gotta build a strong mindset, right? The only things in this world that are worth building are the things that are the hardest to obtain. Everything else is bullshit. You don't even want to do the shit that you're doing, but it's just easy. It's just at the, it's at the touch of your fingertips. You don't see how glorious the future could be. You just see right now and you can't even bother to look past it. You can't bother to look past your phone screen. That's your problem, my friend. All you have to do is see the vision and go get it. And that requires sacrifice, my friend. So if you're not willing to sacrifice, who you are now, for who you want to become later, then you'll never get there. So I prompt you to make the right decision for yourself. Because that's what I had to do to get where I'm at today. I had to sacrifice everything. I had to have nights where I still feel lonely. I still feel alone. And I don't feel like I've done anything. But that's what's always going to be there to try to tear you down. It's always trying to tear me down. It's always gonna try to tear you down. But it's your responsibility to look at it in the fucking face and tell it, fuck off. I'm still gonna achieve what I want to achieve, regardless of how painful it is and how much doubt you have. If you can find faith in the chaos, the universe will reward you. The only, the only way you can do that though is by raising your vibrations by embracing the obstacles that come your way. You have to see the obstacles 
as opportunities because that is what they are to some people and what they are to other people are probably the way that you're seeing it because you're seeing it as a victim. It's happening to me. No, it's happening for you. I already know you've heard that shit before, but it doesn't even sink into your head. It's happened for you. The universe is like, here's an obstacle because when you overcome this, you get to become this type of person, which you always said you wanted to be. You want it to be more disciplined? Well, here's actions that you have to overcome that are gonna make you more disciplined. Oh, you want it to be more consistent? Well, here's challenges that are forcing you to develop a routine, to, to develop habits, to develop a morning routine, systems, so that you can be structured, you can have better time management. You see how everything comes in the form of an obstacle first, and then it forces you to overcome the obstacle so that you can become the person who gets to overcome the obstacle. Do you understand? So that's it. Do it.